In last season's conference final, Matthew Kachuk and the Florida Panthers swept the Carolina Hurricanes. We saw like three famous Kachuk celebrations. After the last game, Rob Brennamore came out in the media and said it was a sweep that wasn't really a sweep. Either way, those were two very good teams, but I still do think whoever would have made it to the final would have lost to Vegas. This year though, I think these are the two scariest teams in the entire league. We've already made an entire video talking about why I think the Panthers are so good and so terrifying, but we rarely talk about the Hurricanes on this channel. I want to change that because they deserve some love. A massive reason why Carolina lost to Florida in the conference final last year was they got Bobrovskied. He consistently outplayed the goalie on the other side. Mix that with the clutch goals from Kachuk and there's your sweep. In my eyes, the two things they needed to become a truly terrifying top tier Stanley Cup contender was number one, consistent goaltending. Not exactly a superstar goaltender, but just someone or even a tandem who can just be solid and give you a chance to win every night. And number two is a clutch playoff goal scorer. Bouncing between Kachetkov, Spencer Martin, and Antti Ranta net was definitely a big question mark. While I do think Kachetkov is a good goalie, I don't think he's ready to be a number one goaltender full time on a Stanley Cup contending team. But now that you put Freddie Anderson back into the mix after recovering from that blood clot, it's a completely different story. You roll with the tandem of Anderson and Kachetkov and now you're really talking. As a duo, I absolutely think that gives the Canes a chance to go all the way. As far as clutch goals or even just adding more top six goal scoring talent into your lineup, adding Jake Gensel is money for that team. Plus you bring in Evgeny Kuznetsov, who maybe isn't what he once was when he was prime, you know, bird flying Kuznetsov. But remember, it was Kuznetsov who scored the goal against Pittsburgh to slay the dragon for Washington after Pittsburgh just owned owned them for all those years. Like I said, he's not that Kuznetsov anymore, but you put him alongside a goal scorer like Gensel. If he's a really good playmaker, you've got scoring depth up and down your lineup here. I mean, having Seth Jarvis on a third line with all the points he's put up this year and after he sweat out all the beer in Mexico, that's a dangerous lineup right there. That's the secret sauce for this team. Yes, it's great if guys like Aho, Svechnikov, and Natchez, their top guys are producing, but they don't need to rely on them entirely. If they're not going, there are other guys who are really good and can step up. Brindamore is also just a really good coach. You you can tell guys love playing for him and clearly he knows how to get the best out of his guys. He also does stuff with his lineup that's certainly not revolutionary. We've seen other coaches do it before, but it's just smart and it works like putting his best defensive defenseman in Slavin alongside his best offensive defenseman in Burns. Although with the season Brady Shea's having, you could argue he's the best offensive D-man his team has, but Burns is on PP1. The team's just so deep and well-rounded overall. If they were to go all the way, that's what's going to get them past teams like Florida, Boston, the Rangers. In my opinion, Carolina won the trade deadline because they gave themselves a significantly better shot of winning the Stanley Cup, and they already had a really good one going into the deadline. I know at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter who won the trade deadline, but what does matter is who got better. Yes, Florida clearly did by acquiring guys like Tarasenko and Ocposo, but as good as Carolina is, and we saw it yesterday against Calgary, they thumped them. I know that Calgary team's gotten gutted, losing some of their best defensemen and players in general in Lindholm, Tanev, and Hannafin, but that Carolina team flexed their muscles yesterday. That is such a good team that's not carried by one or two or even three guys. It's everyone pulling their weight. But once Gensel comes back from injury and we see him in this lineup, up with Kuznetsov, that's when we're going to get the full picture of just how terrifying this Canes team is this year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Give me your top three Stanley Cup favorites down there. Rank them one to three. I might do a top five for a video if that's something you guys want to see. Let me know. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.